In this video, we discuss what a virtual machine is. So a virtual machine is a program that has the same functionality as a physical computer. Emulators are an example. They trick a program into thinking that they're running on its native hardware, when in fact they're running on an entirely different machine. Arcade games from the 1980s can be emulated on today's hardware. The programs themselves are completely unaware they're being emulated. The code is being executed exactly as it was originally. This is an example of a virtual machine. Another example of emulation in games development is to create the game on a PC, but use an emulator for another device such as a games console or smartphone to test the program on those platforms before release. This technique can be used to support a large number of virtual servers spread over a small number of physical servers. So here we have four physical servers, but they're running six separate virtual servers. As demand or the network increases, additional servers can be spun up and the load balanced across the different physical devices. Another major advantage of this is if one of the servers stops working, the others can pick up the load and continue as if nothing had happened. The user may be completely unaware that part of the hardware has actually failed. Now let's look at virtual machines and what's called intermediate code. Now the Java programming language is a good example of intermediate code running on a virtual machine. Java code is designed to run on many different platforms. With traditional programming, you would either have to use the specific language of each device or a suitable compiler for that device. Java gets around this by compiling its code into a kind of halfway house known as byte code or intermediate code. This code is then translated by the Java virtual machine, the JVM, which is run on the target device. It's responsible for translating the intermediate code into the specific machine code. This process makes the Java code highly portable between different devices. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is a virtual machine? 